six, five, three, two, one, zero, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlanta. By now, you might already have heard about the promises Elon Musk makes about sending rockets to Mars by 2029. The expected date to put a, the first human on Mars till 2029, I, I want to say. But <laughs> you will make history. Yeah. One, 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 but one, it'll one. be glorious. Right. But what I feel is that is simply not possible because SpaceX and NASA, they have to collaborate on this big mission of the vision of Elon Musk of sending humans to Mars. But NASA's priorities are different. NASA prioritizes Moon over Mars because what they feel is Moon is a step of going to Mars because first they want to have human exploration on Moon and then next step is Mars. So today in this video of episode 3 of Erising Explains, we are going to go over what are the various missions in which NASA, SpaceX, Blue Region, they all are involved in having a human exploration of Moon. So let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Jagdar Singh and I make interesting videos about interesting topics on this channel in very concise and simple to understand concepts. For the bigger picture, let's rewind back to 1969 when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first two humans to ever step on the moon. Following three and a half years, five missions took place which safely landed 10 astronauts. Following those years, NASA has shifted their vision to low Earth orbit. And that is when the International Space Station came into role. So since in 2031, International Space Station will be decommissioned and will be thrown into a spiral in the Pacific Ocean. And what is next? Next, NASA is shifting their vision to Moon. It is time for America to take the next steps. Today, I announce a new plan to explore space and extend a human presence across our solar system. They want to build a base camp of human civilization on the moon. They call it as lunar economy. On May 2019, NASA's administrator, Jim Bridenstine, announced a new program that is known as Artemis. And that was named after the ancient Greek goddess who is Apollo's twin sister. A year later, Mr. Jim has announced something known as the Artemis Accords. So basically that is the governing framework which collaborated with various other countries in order to have peaceful and civil exploration of moon. On October 13, 2020, various countries like US, UK, UAE, Japan, Luxembourg, Italy, Canada, Australia, they came together in order to sign Artemis Accords. After that, 13 more nations came together in order to make this as uniquely international framework. So let's talk about Artemis program. So technically Artemis has four components in total. First one is SLS, which is space launch system. And second one is Orion spacecraft. Third one is human landing system. And the fourth and very important is the gateway. Let's talk about all these components in detail and a eagle eye view of the whole Artemis mission. So let's talk about space launch system. So it is the most potent rocket NASA ever built and it has taken its inspiration from space shuttle. So basically its core stage is built by Boeing and it has two solid boosters. On top of that, there will be in-trend cryogenic propulsion system which will propel the Orion spacecraft towards the moon. Talking about the second component that is Orion spacecraft. So the Orion spacecraft, its major function is to transport astronauts to and from the lunar orbits. So that in total has two major components. The first one is the habitable crew module, which is made by Lockheed Martin. The second part of the Orion spacecraft is known as European service module, which is actually built by Airbus. And its major function is to supply electricity, power, thermal, all these functionality to the above module. So the third component, which is known as human landing system, so this system will be carrying astronauts from the Orion spacecraft to the lunar surface. Instead of making that HLS by itself, NASA has asked all the industry leaders and big aerospace companies to come and compete with making the HLS for the NASA. So in April 2021, NASA controversially 
have given the contract to SpaceX for making human landing system for the Artemis mission. So its uncrewed mission is planned for this year, 2024. If successful, the same HLS will be used for the Artemis 3 and 4 mission as well. The fourth and the major component is the gateway. The gateway will be situated in the rectilinear halo orbit of the moon and various missions will be conducted in order to complete its formation and its commission. To create a permanent human settlement on the moon, NASA's Artemis program requires a base from where they can operate their operations and technicalities. That is where Gateway comes into play. So this component will be actually supporting astronauts when they are building a human base camp on the moon. So there are two important elements to this Gateway. First one is the habitation and the second one is logistics outpost which is also known as Halo. So this Halo will be constructed by Northrop Grumman company. So these elements are planned for November 2024 mission where SpaceX Falcon Heavy will be carrying forward these elements in the space in the rectilinear orbit and will be construction of this gateway will begin in the year 2024. So over the next years, this gateway will be expanded and there will be involvement of Japan's JAXA and European Space Agency where they will be taking their own elements and attaching it to the gateway. And after and between Artemis 4 and 5 mission, Canada Arm will also be attaching with the gateway. When Orion arrives with the crew of the Artemis 5 mission, they will be bringing many of the components of ESA along with them. And when the Artemis 6 crew will arrive, everything will be on their place to start working. So this was the overview of the Artemis program. Now let's discuss where we are standing today by 2024 what are all the missions which are done so till date artemis 1 has completed their mission successfully so on november 16th 2022 artemis 1 was launched from kennedy space station and it has successfully launched and got into the translunar orbit and then done a flyby and then splashed down to the earth on december 11th on the same year the second Artemis mission is scheduled for late 2024 or early 2025 and it's going to be a crewed mission. It will be carrying four astronauts along with it and it will create a flyby around the moon and bring them back on the earth. So the third Artemis mission which is scheduled for 2026 will carry a woman and a person of color to the moon and that will be the first lunar landing after the Apollo 17 mission in 1969. So the fourth mission, which is scheduled for 2027, will take many astronauts to the gateway for the first time. And that will where the astronauts will conduct many of the experiments and will see how to have the permanent colonization on the moon for the first time in the history. The fifth Artemis mission, which is scheduled for 2028, will carry some of the e-spirit module to the gateway and will land many of the astronauts using the let's lander that is another lander which will be used for the first time so beyond this five artemis missions various other missions have been planned which will take many of the important elements from earth to the gateway so that will be the beginning of the permanent settlement of humans on the moon over time this artemis base camp could turn into a lunar village and can stimulate the growth of lunar economy which will be giving thousands and millions of jobs to the people on earth and inhabitants of the moon, which are called lunar people, they can actually start using the moon's resources to their advantage and see how the human race can be benefited out of that. So this is how Artemis is going to be very, very important when it comes to human exploration. And this program will set a foundation of our human exploration of the Mars because technologies which are going to be used on this Mars can actually help us to take humans from Earth to Mars and further the human exploration of the solar system. So that's it for today's video. I hope you must have liked and got many of the insights of what's happening around the world, specifically in aerospace industry. So hit like and subscribe to my channel for knowing more and more of the aerospace stuff. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the later video.